Yo, what is up guys? This is Rona. Uh, pretty much just going to bring a simple tutorial to a few people in general uh, that wanted some help. Uh, so basically, I just have a blank Photoshop right now. Uh, this is currently a Photoshop CS5. You can probably find it as a torrent, but don't say I sent you from the torrent site because that's illegal. But yeah, uh, what I like to start out with for most... Uh, OBS dimensions or whatever people set it at is 19 or 1280 by 720 um, and yeah so create that and it'll create just this blank screen obviously and from here I'll be showing you guys how to use the pen tool uh, the pen tool is a great tool to use if you're uh, like an artistic person and want to start like creating cool like objects or something like that like a, like a face or I don't know whatever whatever you have in your mind uh, that you want to create so basically uh, you start off by clicking around and creating anchor points which are these little black and um, these I guess just these points that you see on my screen as they're like this uh, so we'll just start with like a simple random shape um, like that and yeah so once you create the shape it'll create a path a path is used uh, for creating the shape I guess I don't know how to explain that either but you can uh, use the select tool and then do control T which will give you these options you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can make it wider etc um, yeah so from here you have a few options you can right click uh, right clicking gives you these options. I don't really play around with create vector mask, uh, delete path creates or deletes the path. Sorry, uh, define custom shape allows you to create a shape for like uh, other f other programs such as like um, I don't know C4D. You can create shapes for that and use them. Uh, there's fill path or there's mix selection which creates a selected thing like you would see on like a marquee tool or whatever um, and yeah so if the last two that are most commonly used for me are the fill path uh, right here and when you click the fill path you'll bring up this little dialog box it'll um, say contents blending rendering whatever don't mess with these these are fine the way they are um, you just want to mess with this top thing right here where it says color uh, you can use foreground color which is your top color right here which would be white if I use that background color it would be black if I use that color it'll bring up this menu which will give you all the colors you can pick from um, it'll also give you options of patterns like that if you have custom patterns um, black 50% gray which is 50% gray um, and then there's white so what I'll do for here is the color and I'll just do that and then it'll select it like that so there's that basic tutorial alright welcome back and for this tutorial uh, I'll be showing uh, how to do stuff with the shape um, now that it's kinda just useless sitting on my screen uh, I'm just gonna delete some of that because it wasn't even or whatever like that, like that, and yeah, you can kind of just play around with this uh, while I'm kind of just talking about random stuff to you guys. But yeah, from here you can double click the layer. You can also double click the name of it and name it L. From there you can double click the actual layer box and mess with these. This is a drop shadow. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means. Inner shadow. No, you guys know what that means. Uh, an inner glow is an inner glow. I don't know how to really explain it. Outer glow, same thing, just on the outside. Bevel and emboss. You don't want to mess with that. It kind of just makes it a really bad, uh, ugly style like that. You don't want that. Uh, satin. I've never really used that in my entire Photoshop quote unquote career. Um, color overlay. You can make it different colors from here. You can literally make it different colors. Um, yeah. Uh, gradient overlay this is a really helpful tool uh, I usually go to overlay and then kind of lower it so it's not too bright at the top or dark at the bottom so that's fine 
uh, we'll do stroke two. Uh, this pretty much puts a stroke, aka outline, on your path or your shape. And so we'll leave that there. Um, this is where like inner shadow comes into play. You can make it different colors and whatnot. Uh, it looks ugly. Delete that. And yeah. Okay, and also I'm going to teach you guys how to texture. Uh, sorry, this is from a tutorial I failed. Um, I'm going to look up the word texture. Hopefully, we can find something cool. I'll just pick off a shitty one from Google. That one's fine. Alright, I guess I need to find the full image. There we go, buddy. Get the image. Lower lower the size a little bit because that was a little was a little excessive. And then from what you want to do here, or sorry, let me take that back. What you want to do now after you get your image, uh, you want to place it over top of it and uh, mess around with these layer things at the top. Right now it's at normal, you can lower the opacity on it. Um, I mean, it won't really look good, uh, but yeah, you can scroll through these, uh, you can kind of just fit it how you want, like that, like linear burn, or you can do that, or that, that's fine for now, and then so, you kind of see it disappear, but on a, on a different color background, or like on your desktop, if you use it as an overlay, you'll see it right here it'll just do the same thing like it did on your shape you made so what you do from here is control and click the actual image on your layer box and uh, it'll create this little marquee tool or whatever you want to call it and from there you want to create it or uh, right click it and um, select inverse that'll pretty much select the everything outside of it but the actual shape so uh, and it won't delete your effects either on on the actual thing. So uh, you go back to your texture layer and hit delete, and bam, it's gone. So that's that pretty much. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll probably make more uh, later. Uh, I just need more ideas on what to make them on. And yeah, I can make a tutorial on this overlay right here. I made this today in one of the videos that I failed. Um, so yeah. Uh, hit me up if you would like more tutorials or something more in depth. I don't know. I'm I'm a really bad uh, teacher, so uh, just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.